It's time to fly Turkish Airlines to Antalya. We have a strange Turkish Airlines experience right now. Uh, we've been told, as you might have seen previously, that they're going to change our flight to a direct flight over to Antalya, when in reality we're going to have a connection in Istanbul. We'd already had the seats, the meals and everything booked uh, with the dietary requirements and stuff, so it would have been a bit of a shame if it does turn out to be a direct flight change to, to straight to Antalya. But uh, it's hard to turn up, come back at 9 o'clock. It is now uh, quarter to 9. Uh, we're going to see what happens. And yeah, I'll update you when I know what's going on. As requested, back at 9 o'clock, and they are still waiting for an answer from the airline, meaning we can't check in. However, we spent some time carefully explaining to the flight supervisor that we already have seats reserved, we already have special dietary meals requested, we already have transfers pre-booked, and we wanted to vlog the whole experience of the connection through Istanbul. He now understands that this is too much to change for our flight and is now cancelling the airline from moving our flight. All of this because Turkish Airlines overbooked their flight. Not what you're expecting when you're checking in over three hours before the flight. Just got confirmation from the airline, it's going to be the normal flight we booked, so we're going to still go to Antalya as a connecting airport over to Antalya. So nothing, nothing really changed, we just spent an hour messing about. Here we are, duty free. She's like problem after problem in Gatwick, just went to the toilet and the dryer didn't work so now I've got soaking wet hands. Well, enough enough moaning, let's get straight into duty free shall we? Got through security, we didn't here previously. Uh, the whole flight issue has been resolved, they told us to wait for an hour to see if uh, they can confirm it. Uh, and yes, we are going to be taking our original route uh, with a connection to and through Istanbul over to Antalya. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Yeah. Go on then. There you go.
Here we are everyone on the plane, Turkish Airlines over towards Istanbul and I'm going to do a little in-flight entertainment review. So we've got the movie section. I do not know what this is. Oh, it's an ad. It comes bad. They've got quite a lot of movies and you can select which ones you want. And different category, categories and everything. They've got loads of new ones as well. You've got music as well from pop to rock to whatever you want pretty much um, TV programs you've got loads of comedy, drama and lots of things Rick and Morty My Flight we're going to be flying over to Istanbul It's all right, I suppose. It wasn't really what I was expecting when I said Asian vegetarian, but it's not too bad. Probably about 7 out of 10. We have to run through Istanbul apparently to try and get to our flight to Antalya. You see here uh, some sort of wind farm going on in Turkey. It looks like it's quite desolate out here actually. There's just lots of uh, trees, not really much civilization. But then again, I might just be looking in the wrong areas. We'll see what Istanbul looks like when we get closer. See you there. The coast of Istanbul. Look at that. Maybe. What the one way to Istanbul? Three five left, three five right, three six, maybe a couple more. We're heading straight to it. So he's vectored straight to it at the moment. Like to do anything else. Mm, a bit weird. We're on a direct course to uh, Istanbul currently. However, the runways are perpendicular to the way we're headed. So we must be turning around one way or another. As you saw there, they served the meal, but the service was really slow. After takeoff, the seatbelt sign doesn't turn off until you're nearly at cruise, which is about half an hour into the flight. So there's a rush for everyone to go to the loo. It's a narrow body airplane, so there's only one aisle down, and there's only a few toilets at the detail of the plane. There's also a galley there, so this is where they're preparing the trolleys for the meals. It gets very congested. Once they start serving the meals, the aisles are blocked. They serve the drinks with the meal, so there's no separate drink service beforehand. And you'll get the one drink. Good luck trying to get anything else. And because the service is so slow, your rubbish will be sat in front of you for, an, for over an hour. So you've got blocked aisles, and your rubbish sat in front of you for an hour. Next, they come to collect the rubbish and serve tea or coffee. So again, service is still slow, and the aisles are still blocked. After this, they'll come and collect the rubbish, and during this phrase, you're on descent, so the seatbelt sign will come back on. So, as you can see there, there's very little time to go visit the loo throughout that congestion. If you haven't been to Istanbul Airport, after landing, taxi takes about half an hour. So if you're bursting for the loo, you won't be able to go until you actually disembark the plane and in the airport. Or you have to try and wedge your way through all of these trolleys and obstructions. It's not a great mix. In my opinion, there seems to be something wrong with the flight ops here. Someone needs to have a rethink. Yeah. 
Did we go to landing? Here we are, Istanbul. Use some marijuana. 